So the next trick I'm going to teach you is called off-string regenerations. Um, this is a great trick and it's important to know both mounts, the forward pass mount and the brain twister mount that we went over previously. Um, so what you're doing is you're actually throwing the yo-yo, you're binding it, and then re-throwing it back into the opposite mount. It looks like this. So you throw the yo-yo, what you're actually doing is recalling it back and you'll notice I'm going to throw it into a brain twister mount. So it looks like this and I throw it back down. Let me try that one more time. Sometimes you might need to adjust the gap. Um, if your gap is too loose or too tight, sometimes it won't grab or it's going to grab too much. Uh, in this case, my gap is really tight and you can see that it's grabbing right away. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're having a similar thing happen to you, you just might have your gap too tight. Um, so what you do, one more time, throw from a forward pass, just like this. You recall, throw it back down into a brain twister mount, just like that. Let me show you again. So you can throw, that's into a brain twister mount, call it back, throw into a forward pass mount, regenerate back into a brain twister mount, regenerate back into a forward pass mount. That's the basics of it. Just takes practice getting the feel. Um, like I said, as you noticed in the beginning, I was having a hard time getting it just right. What you really want to do is adjust your gap. Um, if your yo-yo uses stickers, kind of play around with them. Um, you might be too responsive, it might be too loose. Um, you're going to have to get the right feel for it. And once you do, you saw at the end there, I was finally able to get it. Um, just takes practice. It's definitely well worth learning though, because in the middle of a trick, you can just regenerate back into doing something else. Um, that's off-string regenerations.